Hello, this is Judy. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be another quick video. I just want to show you the completed layouts for Halloween memories. This took me probably three hours to complete, and I really like them. They're simple, but, um, you know, really quick and still a lot of fun. So the first one has the spider web background with the orange on it and squares and then you did stitching around the outside of each one and then a bunch of fun strips like washi tape strips they also incorporated some banners at the top which is fun because i like doing those those are really cute and uh, the stickers you know worked well I like the little stars, and this is a sticker, 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 lots of stickers, okay? I think I used up almost all the stickers on the sheet, and I'll show you what's left in a moment. Okay, the second layout, I changed this just a little bit. I added uh, this purple strip just to add a little definition in between the two because it was black on the black, and it didn't look like it had any definition so I like to add that extra color I rearranged this little cluster of embellishment stickers <laughs> I added these changed this a little bit put front night up here let's see what it looked like on theirs okay so this is the the spooky one and you can see the difference that I did and then this one so I added the purple strips I moved this and changed this a little bit added the fright night up here and the little tags down here instead of this this just looked out of place to me um, and then I put the eek over here rearranged how I had the photos so both, both versions are good. You know, they're trying. Stampin' Up! is trying. <clears throat> okay, the third one is this one. And I did change this again. It has actual stitching that you draw in there. So it looks like it's like a swag with banner of these flags. Um, let's see. Little stitch lines up here that you draw in. And... Let's see over here again. These there was little stitch lines that you draw in here, but they looked out of place to me. They're too long. They don't. There's no reasoning for it. I guess I don't know. It uh, it just looked funny. So I incorporated a couple little changes, which you know I always do anyway. So let's move this. And here is my version. I did funky lines around the outside okay you know there's swiggle lines and some uh sw swiggles with my pen and some x's and dots and just made it look like you know halloween kind of thing i i thought and up here i did this little flag cluster with keep creeping it real and down here i added some extra purple around here because the black the white on the black just it it didn't it it merged together too much instead of popping up off of the the stripe this black stripe i think is is not a good thing to use for a photo mat like that i would have changed that if i had not cut it already so i added these i cut out these little potions from the paper i made this strip here which was a one inch a half an inch and then a uh, eighth of an inch so you know I just layered them on top of each other and then I had to cut it underneath here because it wasn't long enough but I really like how that came out it's a real um, eye catcher to bring to your focus in but it's not so much so when your photos are on there it doesn't distract I hope <laughs> and the same with this cluster it's real cute just a little little flags you didn't need the great big ones um, so let's see. So that's the difference between this one. As you can see. I do like this uh, border. That was real cute. I kind of kept these the same. 
Uh, let's see, and I added this one up here. I do have to trim that still, it looks like. But going together, you know, they look really cute. And I added the candy sticker there instead of down here. Because it looked like, why is it stuck right there? I don't know. It just looked, it looked off to me. Uh, let's see, I have this one. Where did it go? It's on the back of here. There it is. So as you can see how that kind of it, yeah, it, I like my version much better. This I added, this has a white border for the photo. I added the black and then the purple again. And these two, I think, really boosted it up. Gave it a little fun element, but not too much. All right, so that's Halloween memories. I do want to mention one thing. Uh, there was a mistake in the printout. So if you get this kit right here, this one... For the black and the green, it says one by one and three quarters, and it doesn't it doesn't match. So it's one and two and three quarters, one by two and three quarters. And I looked on the mistake uh, directions that they sent with the kit, and it was, did say one and or two and three quarters by one on theirs, but this was all different how they cut it. Okay, the sticker sheet. Let's see what I got left. Not much, right? I have a date, which I, they did use in theirs, but I didn't. I have that arrow, uh, one spider, this element, a bunch of these little words, which I did use quite a few of them. That arrow and one sticker here. Oh, that arrow too. They did use this in their layouts, but I didn't use it. So I have just a few things that I can use and uh, a bunch of scraps. I have a whole sheet of the green and a almost, you know, a lot of cardstock left, which is phenomenal. I love having that. All right, so let's look at the next one, which is Snow Days. And in this one, the original paper pack, I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, it's a new, a new line. These are a lot bigger. So they made them smaller so that we could use them for scrapbooking, which is good. And on the back is this beautiful, I love this snowflake paper. We get two of those. And then this housing, this is new. This is not in the other paper pack. It's really, really cute. The red houses really catch your eye. And then candy canes. And then some really big ivy leaves or poinsettia leaves with green berries, but it's all the same color, which I like. And then a really nice diagonal stripe. Whoa, that is bright. All right, this is an exclusive paper, a green with a diamond. And then I have another pool party with triangles. Let me get two of each of those. It's a lot of pattern paper. And here's the sticker sheet, which is really cute. I love having the journaling lines. Got some big snowflakes. They, they could make better use of the sticker sheet. And I think you'll see that when I get to the autumn kit. I haven't opened it yet, but it'll be fun to go through it. Um, and then all the cardstock again. So let's see. All right, so this one we got four sheets of white and two sheets of pool party. So they started not adding as much cardstock. Darn it. I really like having a lot of cardstock. Okay, so I'll put this together and then do a video and show you what I came up with for those.